Sega. All right, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your captain the alien today. <laughs> Getting cold, so give me a second. Terrible timing. <laughs> Along uh, with face and mud, Lieutenant Rukir at your service. I'm leaving my hand. Take my name and put your Okay, apparently someone needs a, a note of five euros. <laughs> Okay, let's start this over. Ahoy, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Face and might, Lieutenant Rick here, at your service. Along with your face and full servant, Voldemort. <laughs> and welcome back to Dawn of War 2 Retribution, where today we'll be continuing with the uh, Imperial Red Shirts. I, I mean, the Imperial Guard. Yeah, uh, just to clarify, Voldemort is not here. Sorry, just... I just felt I needed to do the you, considering we have a <laughs> gull floating about on screen. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Last week we got started with them, and well, let's continue on it. Hideous turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stands in rubble. Okay. Let's see. We have some new stuff to hand around. So we've got some reinforced flags. Let's give her the good armor because she and Burn are both melee characters. But you know, uh, you know why the bunks <laughs> respect Kadia. I think uh, it is before Kadia fell. I think so. Now let's see. Uh, I had looked up some builds for the characters here, but I've, <laughs> I think I forgot to note them down. So for now then, let's just go... Uh, what was this again? Da -da -da. Force enemies to relive their sins, causing temporary retreats. I think at the very least we'll go for this one here. So let's put a point there. And Merrick, uh, he can go full offense at the moment still. Work towards the artillery bombardment. Burn. Yeah, he he remains. Uh, he remains an oddity, but I think for the moment at least we'll get to draw their fire. Or maybe inspiring strike. Hmm. It, they are definitely the one that we may need a guide for. True, since his his powers are the most eclectic of this bunch. Um, yeah, let's give him melee. Like means. Uh, wide, uh, a wide selection of, or widespread, like, someone who likes both metal and, uh, <clears throat> and classical music, as well as, yeah, like, th all over the place, basically. Uh, uh, yeah, that, I, that's probably how I would describe it, yeah, it's all over the place, that which makes it hard to figure out how to speak spec and use him yeah. for now though at least we can give him the grenades since nobody has any specialization with those and well Merrick is supposed to is <laughs> Merrick will be firing from the back line and since this armor requires level two we might as well give it to Merrick and yeah let's head over to Calderas attention all blood ravens of 
Strike Force Omega in the Argus District. The Ascendant fears investigation and pursuit by those who are less enlightened. He wishes to ensure yep. that all traces of his passing on Calderas are eliminated. As such, Argus settlement is to be razed to the ground. Success will ensure his pursuer's trail shall grow cold and his great plans realized. Calderas is the Blood Raven's recruiting spot. So why are we laying it to waste? And Kairos' lot is up to something. General, if we're really on Kairos' trail, we want to stop them from destroying any evidence. Okay, I forgot that I forgot I still had my phone plugged in through the computer. So yeah, that's done with now. Alright, so I guess we may just need to censor that just in case. Yeah, it, it's, it just opens an empty folder for some reason each time. But yeah, back to this mission. And I do believe this is the other, the only other time that we are, yeah, will be time limited or soft time limited on this mission. We should capture that Imperial Bastion, sir. With it, we can deploy some real ordnance to this war zone. Hmm. Object targeted. Proceeding with attack. Okay. They'll spawn this. I'm on the object. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, of course they get a chimera. Go ahead. <laughs> oh. I thought it was Lima Ross. No, <laughs> we don't get that that easily. We will get it access to it but not yet okay now time, time to ram this thing down sergeant lysandros be advised enemy forces have been detected inside the settlement do not deviate from your mission our priority is to demolish every last structure in this miserable village the emperor's servants their innocence rings false Okay. Hmm. Get closer, you. Okay, and then just oh, dump dear. everyone out on top of them. <laughs> okay. Burn, grenades. Yeah, that, that's probably something I should have been using the uh, supports for from the start. To just get a bunch of... to get our melee units into well range and then deal with them, or just drop them off there. Yeah, also... I feel like we have, we have heard of Lysandros in the first two uh, expansions, uh, uh, in Vanilla or uh, the other expansion, or maybe even in uh, Don't War 1. Not sure. I think the, the only time we've heard about them is here. It could, it could be that it sounds so familiar because we've heard them talk about them like five times now yeah but it does feel like there's a, another memory about that name <clears throat> okay now we're going to get the heavy <laughs> weapon scenes i think i remember gabriel mentioning lysandros at some points hmm I can do a quick little look here on the wiki. Our heavy weapons teams can be given las cannons to carry their enemy armor. Melter bombs and melter guns are also quite handy. Show me our way. No doubt, no mercy. Okay. Yeah, you can do some heavy weapons against these marines. Yeah, seeing as normally. Any space marine could take on probably like an entire regiment of troops. This is okay. better be important. Let's actually get another squad. Let's see, equipped with a heavy bolt that suppresses large groups of enemies. Okay, probably best to keep. Well, actually, can we also get some? No, yeah, there's no space, it. but we can get another garden squad. Do we have a target. Okay. Let's keep it 50-50 between the heavy weapons teams at the moment. So we have both suppressive fire and anti-vehicle fire. Okay. 
Ooh, Burn's getting pretty hurt. For... Okay. Heavy weapons team, focus there. Okay. Merrick, focus that down as well. They're rather lucky that they are not really <coughs> using anti-building weapons too much. Like, the only ones really are those there. And even then, they're going to be more focused on our own vehicles than anything else. Oh, dear. Okay, apparently she can't use the spell too close to herself or something. And really, you're going into melee with a tank when you've got this when you've got a shield mounted rocket launcher. Yeah. <laughs> you pull back. Eliminated. Okay, that's all of them dealt with. Uh, let's see who... Actually, let's just call in some reinforcements here. Let's do it. Okay, now who are the ones... Okay, it's the Imperial Guard troops who can, you know, who can repair, so let's quickly get to that. And the rest can move forwards. Um, let's see. Commander here. Ready and able. Right Go then. there. Moving. Hmm. <laughs> okay, there's a, something here Sir, on the, the voice waiting. actor of Lysandros. But let me just narrow the search down a bit to the wiki so we can be more sure. Dude. Bird is getting absolutely melted. <laughs> okay, then again, he did charge a bunch of Terminators. Wait. Wait, she can't. Oh, okay. I had it wrong. She she needs to target a target a unit, not an area. It takes more than that, I say. Okay, you lot, come help here as well. Let's do it. A little pleasure, boy. Hey, Glaze, how are you doing today? Let's, Let's see, all right, and you, we're, we're both doing decent enough. Decent, still sick, but decent. Sergeant Lysandros, come in. We have come under fire. Our mission has been compromised. Stay calm, young brothers. I will deploy heavy support. It will arrive in moments and crush these worms. Cadians are always ready. But right, other is, I'm well enough to be able to have the streams, but I don't know if too sick to do go during the festivities tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, we can't use that spell on vehicles. Okay, get a flare out to increase the damage, and for once we are not melting this thing because, well. We're with a lot less blim with yeah, a lot more limited <laughs> means this time. And apparently I forgot to turn on do not disturb mode again. <laughs> okay, we're whittling it down now. If its might is not ours, it must be destroyed. <laughs> Uh, Glacier Boy is looking to join the Ogrins. Oh, I'm looking forward to them. Okay. okay. Give me a second to turn that off. There, do not disturb. Okay. Let's get some flares out. 
Yeah, we should get we should get rid of Merrick needing to set up as quickly as possible because it is lowering his attack ability a lot. Burn, get some grenades in. Also, yeah. Let's just continuously make guardsmen. <laughs> because it is kind of the whole joke with the Imperial Guard that there's like <laughs> millions of guardsmen that die or on the way to get freaking butter from the store or something. And this flare la flares last a decent amount of time as well. Yeah, they're all not really huge stands. I mean, there's a joint, uh, this depends on the which one you join. But many of them, like the Cadians, you join when you're five, and when you've finished training, you will be able to, well, almost or just flawlessly be able to assemble and reassemble your own gun after cleaning. Yeah, but. Okay, get a player out. Burn, clear that building out. There goes the camera. So these rifles they use are actually a bit more powerful than our rifles today, and have actually unlimited ammo anyway. Like if the battery goes out, but they need a campfire in the sun. The, okay. The heat would resource it. So yeah. Last goes a lot bad. What do you mean? It pays a comparison to most other weapons. Yeah, it, it's just that most other stuff in the 40k universe is just absolutely, absolutely absurd. To the point that it makes, well, <laughs> the last gun's laser weaponry look like flashlights in between, you know, in comparison. Yeah. And many have taken that uh, comparison a bit too literally and think they are weak. But they are not. Since it, it, here's the thing. If we were to give a squad with those rifles today, they would wreck things. Yeah. Okay, can't target that. As much as we were suppressed there, it doesn't look like we actually made any losses. Uh, so yeah, it looks like we do need to be a bit more tactical with the Imperial Guards. <laughs> or at the very least, we're a lot more susceptible to suppression and such. That makes sense. Because not all Imperial Guards fight the same, but many of them will use artillery. But they use sometimes slightly different than others. Okay, like, here you come the Terminators. They're, they're swarming. They'll be probably doing tactical swarming. Yep. Okay, Merrick is just hanging out at the back. Pretty sure you don't have a line of sight on the HQ there, so get in position, you. Yeah, another one. I definitely should give someone the <coughs> should give someone the melter bombs since we don't have too much anti-vehicle at the moment. Yeah. Uh, did he just drop a box on us? Yeah, that, that's the re that's the Valkyrie support ability to reinforce our own troops. Okay, I just thought they tried to crush it. They just crushed up with a box. And it kind of looks like that. And looking for the. You. You are too late. It game got deselected. Send it. We'll be triumphant. Mm. For the Emperor, sir. Ever onward. 
Okay, and I, I did a quick look, and there's no page on the wiki for Lysandros, or at least not that Google can quickly find. Okay, we get access to multi-laser turrets. <laughs> Burn is just short of a level. Uh, no wargy acquired? Really? No loot? Nope. Let's see, Mastercrafted Autocannon, plus 25 accuracy for 105. The autocannon provides good all-around damage and a high rate of fire, making it useful to employ in a, variety, in a variety of situations, its only weakness being that it requires setup and teardown. <laughs> the Demolition Man, upgrade for the Catachan squads. Let's see, adds the Demolition Expert to the Devil Squads. The Demo Man comes equipped with a more powerful shotgun and has the ability to uh, deploy impro yeah, improvised explosives. Or we get the Stormtroopers. Hmm. And I'm guessing Glacier Boy is making, uh, <laughs> is making Ogren quotes. I'm thinking we go for the Stormtroopers. Yes, yeah, same. I feel like we may end up using them a lot. Our forces have a lot more meat to them than they used to, General. And though I'm not a fan of staying out of the fight, you might consider leaving Lord Byrne and myself behind in order to deploy more men. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that we now have access to the honor guards. Let's see. I've kind of forgotten how we were going to go with this. Uh, but let's well we can we can call in a freaking Lehman Ross drop, so I'm pretty sure we'll go for that. So offense it is then. Yeah, I think we will do two upper uh, for him. See, I forgot. Uh yeah. Merrick we go until we have this one at the very least, then artillery barrage as well, probably. And uh, increase all of Lord Burns' damage. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's. Uh, yeah, I did. I did a quick look for tips on how to build these guys, but I'm not finding anything too specific. So uh, let's go. Let's grab this one at least. Because Burn is rather fragile, so it would probably be best to just have the enemy focus down someone else. And actually, let's remove that for a moment, put that on you. And... Let's see. I think we'll actually remove this for a moment and move the health pack to him. Because we are a bit short on accessory spots. Typically, we'd start with at least one character who can use two. And... Well, you you can't use those for some reason. Can you use the grenades? No. Hmm? Okay, why, why can't you use those? Hmm. Curious? Okay, what I'm thinking then instead... Did we hand this over to Merrick for the moment? He'd be too far away to make good use of the Melta bombs. Hmm. And yeah, I'd, I'd say this one is too far down the line to really go for, just to give him an additional accessory spot. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, I guess we do have to focus. I do have. I think we do have to rely a lot more on our troops beyond just our uh, our hero units for all of this then to make it through. Yeah. So yeah, optional mission as always. Sends. Yep. All around the loot. Use those shiny bridges, cause they bring good luck. If there's an ambush, be <laughs> Don't let the enemy reach the supply depot. And protect the trucks. I don't care how many of your kids get smashed. I'm sending some boys ahead to loot and make sure there's no ambush. Send cans and then send boys. All kinds of boys. 
Anything the orcs have, they took from the Imperium. I say we go take it back. Okay, this is going to be trickier. Then let's see. We can change. We can swap wait, wait. Merrick out for a Bane Wolf. Because what they ran for Ogrins. <laughs> okay, he no, will still get experience. Old. Hmm. I'm thinking we actually go with this for the moment. Just to see how it goes. Just let's be honest, these two aren't too strong just yet, especially since we don't have any armor or any decent armor between the two of them. Plus, it'll mean more, <laughs> more guardsmen to put out on the field anyways. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel we're going to need a lot of heavy weapon teams. Drive slower, you break me bitch, he says. And don't forget to drive on the shiny bridges for good luck. Listen up, kids. War boss smash face says there will be fight night, and we need to get our key to the war. So just be sure to get enough trucks past the supply station for the war. And the place where it continues to quote well, the Gogrins. Let's keep going and find a better ambush. All greens, not Gogrins. <laughs> no, go <laughs> Gogrins sounds like uh, Ogrins who have been taught to drive. Probably poorly. Well, especially considering they, uh, they all are afraid of the dark. And they have claustrophobia. Yeah, which is why it's hard to get them into <laughs> into shovels and such. Yeah, a big spaceship they can have a bit better, but a transport vehicle, like a you know, a, a tank and such. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, but uh, that one they be struggling with. Okay, that that's a bit of a first, since typically we start moving the moment we can, but those will actually just jump between different highs and low areas. See, Glacier Boy, I won't conf I won't say if Gavin Bob took the truck, sir. <laughs> oh, okay, the stormtroopers come with a little... Oh, wait, wait, these are the veterans we got in exchange, so of course they have more available at the moment. Let's see, they, we can equip them... Hmm. We can give them plasma rifles, melters, or recon. Ability to sprint and infiltrate. Yeah, melt guns and melter bombs. Overcharged hotshot lasers. Um, this re increased range, reduced reload time, but increased damage taken as well. Okay, on, so the stormtroopers are very versatile from the sounds of it. The and the ogrens have gotten themselves stuck. Oh, they voice actors for them. Now, if I remember uh, correctly, Bonehead Ogrens have an, a brain implant that makes them somewhat smarter. But they're also not smarter to begin with. Just the implant helps it uh, further a bit more, if I remember right. Okay, Merrick. And of course, they also extra loyal. Hence the implant. Yeah. Okay. So you're smart to the average Ogrim, and extra loyal to the average Ogrim. You can then be in your part and become an in. Uh. Bonehead. <laughs> Which typically sounds a lot more like an insult. Yeah. Okay, there we go. It got a bit hairy. But not too big of a threat. Yeah, we, we need to get... Hmm. Actually, now that I think about it, I think the way that the... I think the way that the Imperial Guard's heroes' talents don't have really any big synchronicity and has the 
the buffs that a lot of other factions get early. I think that kind of... Uh, why are you idiots in melee stance? <clears throat> I think that's actually supposed to be thematic since, well, it's a lot harder for the Imperial Guard to get the same work done that uh, the Space Marines would. So I think that's why their perks are or seem uh, weaker. Yeah, but that's supposed to help the... I guess you could say they're in the middle ground between Space Marine and Tyranids. Hmm... Mm. Wouldn't really say that because the Tyranids in this were really powerful. Right then. Yeah... They're basically the faction every other faction would bully. <laughs> oh god. Now is the time to move. Striking now. Look, Let's see. Orcs, all right. Actually, now we don't have anyone you with the grenades along. Can we even lure these out? Yeah. Oh, also, I actually learned something about the orcs recently. Oh. Better be important. About orc tech. Like, the reason Imperial go God and uh, Mechanicus think uh, the orc weapons are. are work on belief is that's a law that's what they they think and people make mistake on that but the actual law is the make boys remembers instinctively the technology from the past even though crude it actually works it's not like they think it works it actually works the problem just, with that is is that the moment anyone who uh, and, Anytime a non-orc gets their hands on it, it <laughs> it proves to be absolute junk because it's missing critical parts that are needed for it to actually function. Oh, th th that's the other mistake. That's what the mechanicus thinks. The problem is, it's too alien to understand. Hmm. Maybe. If that makes sense. But they think of, wait, th what, this is all wrong. But they think from the point of... Uh, I've, what a human would make it. But he is not a human weapon to begin with. I am on my way. Yeah, true on that, but I, they're styled practically the, uh, the exact same when it comes to that. Let's see, Glacier Bird, but also the Wog energy that warps reality can also factor in. And yeah, that, that's supposed to be it's... the only reason why Orc Tech actually even works, or most of it at it least. It's actually a myth pro produced by uh, memers. Actually, it was a uh, West Ham reason. He actually made a uh, video about him, what's a myth and not, and he actually confessed that he accidentally spread the myths about the world agency doing that. Like, what is it is a thing, because it doesn't do that. So, hmm. the only thing we have been seeing in means like, oops, think they are tank become a tank is false. Yeah, th that one was it just outright was a, a joke. joke. Yeah, that one yeah, was outright a joke. It some... was never to be taken seriously. I'd never... I don't think anyone actually did take that seriously. I mean, many have. And there's so many orc memes that have been taken seriously, it has actually become a problem. For the other things that, as we have heard, uh, like, if they if think there's no, like, there's no gas in the car, and they think there's a gas, the car will still not run. Thank the Emperor for these hmm. But people think it, will, have think it will run for they think there is gas, but there is, there is none. Like, that's not how it works. Okay. It, Merrick, where the heck are you? <laughs> Merrick is just getting a bit gung ho. And even for clarification, like, many of these are actually not in the lore books. And people have and it only got to explain that red doesn't make go faster. They just think it goes faster. For they, know, they instinctively know it, what to make it go faster. Just if they have an unknown reason to think anything goes fast, red. And why they all think red go faster. They just forgotten why they painted red. Okay. It's gonna like that. Imperial Guard, Again, clear I, those I, I definitely arts. recommend watching uh, West Ham's latest video about this and 
David probably explain it better than me. Okay. That orc's beaten. I'm on the what? There wasn't supposed to be any fighting while we was looting. The trucks are almost here. Ready them suitors, boys. Boss Smash Face says we need to keep this way clear for him. We are holding enemy contact. Okay. Yeah, we can use Merrick to snipe these things. And let's see here. And yes, but Glacier Boy's weapon is true. The orcs will get more powerful and all that. With a lot of the uh, all the orcs around, like the more orcs there are, the smarter they get. Sort of. It's sort of like the scripts in Go Guild ahead. Wars. Yeah, so they just need way more. But when they had that damn attack moon, they did something that actually surprised the Imperium. Um, they went button. down and offered the, them uh, a, a chance to capitulate and surrender. They destroyed those shiny bridges you liked. What? Oh, you spread that be lying to me, boy. And you spread be dead before I get there, because I don't like being lied to. Now out of my way. Do all the work myself. And when I'm done fighting, you're all getting your faces smashed. Okay. Oh Every weapons team is. Yeah, as I said, the, the Imperium Maybe were we not ready for orcs to actually come down and offer them a chance to surrender. You know we're ready. <laughs> okay, put all of them over there. Like, it doesn't sound an awkward thing to do, does it? To it? Yeah. Put yourselves in gear, soldiers. You okay. Get all of these equipped with lance mm -hmm. uh, cannons. Get, get them in the position. Merrick can they cover both enemy. areas, they and he has just way they more range. Yeah, I... yeah, he... yeah, he still has more range than the other teams, it seems, so he can probably cover on both ends somewhat. You know we're ready. You lots. Yeah. Get over there. Get a move on, men. And I think that should be enough. So let's let the others keep their heavy bolter let's take cover or suppress a fire. Let's see. We can't afford any more. Uh, Ogrins, quickly capture that. Hmm. I don't... Yeah, I don't think we'll find enough resources to get any more squads, and we still have plenty of space left over here. Well, let's see. Well, uh, from Clash Boy, we we're doing boys. the age of. This is where he said the fighting was. <laughs> this is exciting. Can you feel it, boys? Oh, God. Fine. See, the orcs would rather sign Don't peace treaties with humanity. That's how formidable humans were back then. <laughs> yeah, that's a solving. <laughs> Burn, take those out. Oh, never mind. Okay. Now, let's see how well Merrick and his supporting team do. I don't remember any foot soldiers coming down this way, only through the middle. So it should be okay to just have last cannons pointed towards this. Okay, did they just end up knocking down a bunch of orcs by knocking their knob into the rest of them like bowling pins. Also, fun fact, Ogren's Ripper Gun used to be fully automatic. Let's go! Yeah, until they started wasting all of their ammo, I believe. Indeed. So they did start doing so that there's a uh, stops in between. For them, just holding trigger, just get so triggered, but they just emptied it out so quickly. Put yourselves in gear, soldiers. 
Okay. But also, I think it's also that's why they also implemented a, those huge bayonets on them, for they know that because when they get the chance, they will go in melee. Yeah. Okay, now where's the rest of them? Did we did we just kill them off too quick again for the computer to really handle it? Uh, there they spawned. Okay. I'm guessing the reason we can see them through the fog of war is because, well, they're orcs. They're going to be fucking noisy. And these are specifically looking for a fight. Okay, <laughs> that was a kamikaze orc, it seems. And... Okay, that's for Shim to... <laughs> that was a tank deleted in two shots. Holy... Let's get a bit of a different view on this place for once. <laughs> okay, for, for, for what's basically oversized shotguns, that's still a lot of range on those things. That shotgun is supposed to have a lot of long range, but still... Yeah, the, the a giant rippers, shotgun like that is it's terrifying. Oh, we... And yes, we're the old, uh, full veterans. automatic shotguns. I just forgot what they're called. Hmm. We have enough for these. That's that's a very wide firing angle. <laughs> All of them just fired their, their rockets into a tree. Okay, it, it seems that, you know, fittingly, the Imperial Guard have very low morale uh, health, because that is what's getting attacked when they're getting suppressed, or that's what's depleted when they're getting suppressed. And apparently oh, these trucks yeah. have more health than the bloody tanks. Not enough health, though. Holy... Okay. Hmm? I used to say I just realized we have for more Let's troops. Are yep. <laughs> we we're just lacking in the resources to actually call them in. And their smash face. Probably should have thrown out some of these. Can can Merrick throw those out? Yep, he can throw them out and remain uh, stationed like that. Hmm. Oh, I just remember something from uh, Horus Heresy. And it's Ogren related. Oh. I, I forgot what the unit's called, but there is a special Ogren unit that was actually heavily used as a space marine killer. Against trade allegiance. Okay. Oh, yes, that it was heavy on Ogren. <laughs> well, it would make sense that the Ogres would be the best at, at even attempting to kill Space Marines. Yeah, but I had their own more. Uh, how do you say? Lightweight power armor? And uh, let's see. Mastercrafted Power Fist. Power Fists are among the most powerful close combat weapons. A gauntlet wreathed in deadly energy. A Power Fist can rip through the heaviest armor and even briefly stun vehicle crews. And Mastercrafted Carapace Armor. Uh, ta -ta -ta. I think we've read that before. Let's see. Glacier Boy is there. Physically capable of killing Space Marines, so it makes sense that they were used for it. Yeah. Or used for such. And yeah, I think your choice here is obvious. Yes, Ogren. <laughs> uh, the big and boys are now in town. And yeah, we can check that out 
over here. Ta -ta -ta. Ogrens are tough ogre-like brutes who excel in, yeah, excel in close combat and are excellent at disrupting enemy range units. Can be upgraded with a bonehead. Which, let's see... That's a bonehead squad leader who unlocks the use your head ability, which increases the speed and allows for Ogrens to knock down their opponents. Okay, so that's where they were set to melee stands. They are actually supposed to just run in shooting and then get the stabbing. And I sound like something you that. <laughs> okay. And yeah, now we've got commissars with the Imperial Guards to increase their damage. Now, burn. You're finally level three. Let's see. Mm, immune to suppression, ogre gain. It still seems rather awkward with this, but mm, maybe maybe it'd be better to get skills with him that give buffs to other squads and then shelf him. Let's see. If not deployed, the Imperial Guardman squad that yeah, <clears throat> infantry squad gains bonus damage. Yet, inf melee guardsmen infantry take less damage from melee attacks. He feels almost more better to have use him as a well, someone that buffs the squads by leaving behind. Yeah, let's actually try that for a bit, maybe. And yeah, let's see our new gear. The order three works damn well. Like she still works well on a mission. She has a flame pistol, a sword, and all that. But just him. His traits seem to just point towards leaving behind. This mm -hmm. probably will explain why he barely has any voice acting. Well, hmm. well little of it. I think the, I think he only has vo uh, on field voice acting, as in when we order him around and such. And yeah, we actually yeah. have a weapon for him that has less damage, but it's. It attacks faster, so the DPS should be higher. All hmm. right. Um, okay, okay. Be honest now. Be honest. Anyone think of Hellboy? <laughs> a bit. It's. And he actually has different hard animations to not for that. See that. Wait, what? <laughs> what do you say? Yeah, there's actually different animations for equipping these. Okay, that's like the third different one there. Like he has straight punches. Then slaps. And then there was... More overhead-like earlier. Let me... <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see, Glacier Boy, that is hilarious. The comments are increasing the Imperial Guard's damage while also shooting his own troops that have morale issues. <laughs> oh dear. Let's move on. This vox we've intercepted is worrying. And we should shoot these heretics off the planet before things get any worse. Brothers, we must give praise to Korn for the construction of their dark portal is complete. Where Aragas's temple was sundered, we may once again freely coast the beings of a warp into reality. The portal radiates ruinous power. Celebrate as you witness the constructs of lesser beings tainted and laid to waste around it. <laughs> and hello there, Pizza. Hey. How are you doing today? Hello, Pizza. Doing decently despite still being sick. And I'm gonna stay home tomorrow. This week celebrate Christmas tomorrow on 24, but since I'm still sick, I gonna stay home. But it does mean I'm still be available for streams. Yeah. Okay, and let's shelf. Let's shelf burn again. Get the boneheads and well the, the damage boosts. <clears throat> to witness the glory of the Dark Portal. Draw near then. Watch as the entropy of the warp claims and cripples flesh and steel. We shall savor your despair. And let's see, pizza, quite good. Wait. That's good to hear. 
Something looks off here. Hmm? I think there is... Yeah, I think we have a bug here. I, yeah, I don't think it's supposed to rain on an ice planet. Yeah, yeah, it's supposed to snow on this map. Not rain. <laughs> Well, well, I've seen rain falling down on snow before, but... Uh, uh, one. Uh, this place is being uh, warped, so it would make sense that a bit of reality is uh, caving in. Yeah, we have done this mission before, and it snowed the other times. Okay, let's just put out as many guardsmen as we can. Especially since they're a lot more, they should be a lot more buffed now, both with Burns passive being yeah, yeah, passed on to them, and the Commissar upgrades. Oh dear. I think mean, this is the only game I've ever seen where the weather has buzzed up. <laughs> so. Actually, if this one, oh, it's good question. This is probably the second time, uh, one. Pixel mm. apparently still struggles with the concept of uh, like in regular org, if there's very wind storms, you'll be safe without any speed, speed debuff or anything if you're inside. But in Pixel, yeah, you want speed boost and speed nerf depending on what end you're inside your own house. Even if you're on the ground, you'll be affected by the wind. Yeah, that's just weird. Okay. Yeah, but I also not a weird thing. Like, like that's a home buff thing. Probably the more furniture you put inside your home, the home buff, the smaller it gets. And yeah. they still not fixed that last time. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, more for the K. Yeah. I, I think that was the easiest we've dealt with the Noise Marines so far, just by keeping at range with them. <laughs> yeah, let's okay, see. that must be true, but I, did, I didn't notice there's Noise Marines this time. Yeah, there's always a squad over there. They were annoying the Ogrins, but I told them to pull back. So they didn't grab to drop the base this time. I missed that. I'm looking elsewhere. I'm wondering, where are the Noise Marines? Uh, Guess let's they see. died before hmm. I noticed them. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Pizza. I managed to also finish Sniper Elite 4, so yay. So uh, just playing another game I have been enjoying. I'm most likely going to be playing Sniper Elite 4 again, but this time uh, I'm giving myself the chance that if I ever get spotted, I restart the entire mission. Okay. Uh, mind you, these missions can go on for two hours, since it would be cold enough that the rain drops would freeze and the hail drops. Uh, yeah, that's Glacier Boy. The Emperor's children at their finest when they drop the base. <laughs> oh dear. Actually, use those flares. Might as well equip the guardsmen with flamers again, since they were very effective with that last time. And yo, you regained oh. your energy really fast, and there's the bloody noise marines again. Let's see. Is, can it only be cast on a single team at a time, or can it affect multiple? It can affect multiple, okay. Okay, so... <clears throat> so, Adrastir is a mix of uh, offense and the support character. This is kind of nice. Yeah, typically not something you also... Also typically not something you expect from an Inquisitor, since they're typically more like to burn everything down. Uh, that's it. They're more investigation than burn everything down. They actually... They only use exterminators as a last resort. True. But they hmm. do have an order for investigation for every time someone has done an exterminators. To make sure they did not... You will not trigger happen with it. 
Oh, it says again. Bombing a planet is not a small thing. Yeah. Caster, where the hell are you going? Why was he... Why are you in melee? You want to hit them? Is, this is his sword, of course. Is there anyone else who's not in, who is in melee stance who shouldn't be? And yeah, Glacier, we did. They cannot afford on recruitment for Crippen. Was a lunatic and in desperation and lunacy, he actually bombed a lot of planets who tried to storm out the Tyranids. He didn't help much, just he wasted a lot of people's lives. Yeah. You think you are finished here so easily, you are mistaken. Magnificent, is it not? We have succeeded where even the great old care could not. Come closer, approach the portal, gaze directly into the maw of the warp. If you are fortunate, your lives may be snuffed by its entropy rather than our blades. Yeah, even if we could use a teleportarium here, uh, Adrastia would kill anyone who would turn their back on destroying, well, a, a very obvious chaos portal. That's a strategic point for us, sir. Yeah. Well, she herself order, gave the order to do a technical retreat. Yeah. Can she actually? Yeah, she can cast it on herself as well. Okay. I'm guessing that's the timer for how long it takes above her. Or how long it will last. Be sure. Actually, I think she's still being. No, I, she's just glowing. <laughs> and some sneaky cultists behind us. Didn't last like five seconds from the looks of it. Okay. Let's turn this off. And let's get... And let's, yeah, we don't have the requisition for it, but we should probably get a few of these. I don't remember there being any vehicles in this level, but it should speed up with destroying the portal. Or speed up this destruction of the portal. Okay. Okay. At least they also regenerate their morale quite quickly. Uh, let's see. Glacier Boy, get the ordnance troops to call in the, the artillery on the portal. Problem solved. <laughs> Problem is that we aren't really in the in the vicinity of Imperial ordnance. <laughs> yeah. Like the closest we have at the moment is Merrick with his gun here. Go ahead. Sir. Take that thing out. Taking the target, sir. Okay, now Let's do it. get you your last cannon. Commander here, that's a strategic point for us, sir. Okay. I am on my way. Back to on there. Way we can get in another squad. Yeah. Not enough for another. Finally, some gear. Also, maybe it's supposed to be a bit thematic that uh, they don't get as much war gear because <laughs> the guard is always undermanned and under-equipped. But maybe I'm just making sort of excuses for the game with <laughs> giving us crap rolls on, <laughs> on gear. I'm unsure. <laughs> If it is if it is by design, then I will you know, give the you know, game points for that. Okay. Just Merrick melting a, a chaos marine <laughs> there for a sec. Okay. Get the resources and get going. It you're supposed to take cover when you're getting shot at. Order, 
Go ahead, sir. Let's do it. Yeah, of course, the Ogrens have the survival instinct of uh, well, a, a can of tuna. Chaos <laughs> we are engaged here. Okay. Enough for another squad. Oh, the, the Ogrens are really expensive at 600. No, we have an extra squad of them, too. <laughs> yeah, you'll be wrecking things. But actually, yeah, it is a tactic to actually keep up using this gear, just a green rush. Be really expensive, but I, I could see it happen. It's just as dumb as they are, they are still pretty tanky. You lot actually go look this way, because you're too far behind. Yeah, they actually, look as tanky as their past unit from Horus Heresy when they actually keep in armor. <laughs> Can I actually go and destroy the shrine that's over here ahead of time? Actually. They do still give them army here, just not the same army as they gave them back then. It almost looked like they tried to fit space meat arm on themselves. Oh, it's the heavy Truly. weapons team. I, I thought there was one squad. Okay, you go help the, the weapons team. Get yourself some flamethrowers. Okay, can I destroy... Uh, actually, no, that we're going the wrong way for that. The shrine is over that way. Oh, well. <laughs> A bit of extra experience, I guess. Okay, all of you together. We need to go call in some reinforcements, so let's gather up for a second. Then we'll push to the portal... Have reported for duty, sir. Order, sir. Okay, of course the heavy weapons teams get left out on that. Okay, so that has a, a bit of a small, yeah, it's made of a, a bit of a small area of effect. That's mad even for a dreadnought. Let's do it. Also, something I learned about these things is that uh, the chaos. Chaos Marines typically have need to be tricked to get into those things. Because, well, it's a, the Chaos version of a Dreadnought, and Dreadnoughts on their own are already not pleasant. You can imagine how much yeah. worse a Chaos Dreadnought is. I'm not gonna that. They are to be used as a form of punishment. Like, if you fail enough times, you will be mangled, then thrown into one against your will. So, when you fight a Chaos Dreadnought, he's gonna unleash his anger on you! Yeah, and he'll have plenty of it. Let's see. The Iron Warriors would definitely deploy that punishment. That was like you do it a lot, but they probably one of those that used it a lot. Okay, we lost a lot of troops. <laughs> yeah, a lot of troops there. So I want to attack the Ogrens. And someone pick up the Inquisitor. Okay, I was I was focusing too much on the portal there, trying to get it down quick. Okay, everyone fall back. Inquisitor will probably have her heads for this, but probably better that she have them than Chaos does. And they need to run all the way back over here. Okay, at the very least we'll have... Uh, yeah, we have a good amount of resources now. So... Yeah, let's actually get a bunch of Ogren squads then and see what happens. Okay. 
<laughs> Pick up the Inquisitor. Infantry reinforcements are ready. Let's get to it. Reinforce you. We have a target. We came out here. I protect the Inquisitor. Okay. So, uh, uh, the, come on, the typical alive, uh, amount of lives of an Imperial Guard engagement were lost, so let's take, let's try that again. Why are you oh, not reinforcing? Okay, I read this oh, out population from Glacier cap. Boy. E what? Like, from Glacier Boy. Even Iron Warrior Wars with their equivalent to a Chaos Lord can end up in a Dreadnought as a punishment. Pert Robo did that once because a warsmith had the misfortune of delivering bad news to him on a bad day. Uh, expectable. <laughs> they were totally... The Chaos Marines are totally the type to shoot the messenger. Uh, no, that was not shoot the messenger. This is more shove the messenger in a tormenting tank. Yeah. <laughs> Which is still probably a lesser, <laughs> a lesser punishment among them. Uh, these cost only 100. Okay. I'm pretty sure with everyone else it cost uh, uh, 200 at the least to use the first global ability. Yep, the Adrastia is <laughs> eager for some <laughs> vengeance. Okay, let's carry them up before we send them in. Yeah. For... I want to see them properly used as a one big group. Okay. All of you together. Okay. On the front line. <clears throat> Pardon? Okay. On my way and on I don't. I think most of the defenses actually came chasing after us. So, <laughs> yeah, the, the place is empty. <laughs> okay, send in the oversized toddlers who are about to get a <laughs> strike on top of their heads from the looks of it. Oh well, at least the gate is gone. Okay, the shrines again. <clears throat> I'll take care of those in a second. Also, why the hell was Merit just running off <laughs> over there? The heck were you up to? Oh, they're just lagging it. What the heck? Oh, heck no point! Okay, get rid of those. And now we go take out the shrines for the extra experience because, well, we're going to need it probably. Yeah, and the open is all freaking stuff, but they do obviously need some uh, support. Yeah, and they're often a bit too thick, literally and triggeredly in the heads to get past some places. Yeah, but once do you get them rolling? <laughs> oh boy! I, actually, I, I think if you ever taught a bunch of ogrins to, to do, uh... <laughs> yeah, not somersaults, but basically to just roll up in a ball to roll downhill, I think you would lose them forever because they would just do that for the rest of their lives. <laughs> I'm only sure on that one. <laughs> and of course, we've got a nuisance in the back. <laughs> Holy 
Exactly. They are bringing that down. It, yeah, you, you send them to shoot. Shoot while charging into the melee. It's gonna make yeah. sense. You, it was shotguns. Uh, uh, salvo shotguns uh, as you short in, then smash them up. Whatever that is left. Okay. We can use some reinforcements again. Yep. Report ready. Okay. Now. I don't want to die here. Petra, I'm pretty sure I've heard that name come by in at least one uh, Warhammer 40k video uh, from a you, you 40k series. I'm presuming the I'm presuming the, uh, the yeah the chapter master of the Iron Warriors. Not chapter master. Try Primark. Okay, I can get Primark. That was the word I was thinking of. Okay, okay for a moment I, I saw that said artillery commands distinction, but no. Holy, look at the cultists! What called this? I only see a red mist. Did, did that just one ogre just eliminate three of them like nothing? I think that gives your answer. <laughs> okay, that one actually went up the chunk. Oh, it's gonna make sense considering how damn big those shotguns are. They're just running and gunning through life like it's a car, like it's a Call of Duty clone. Okay, but let's actually test that. We'd send them out this specific squad on them. There's a bloody noise of Marines again. Okay, okay there's a bit more there than I thought. Okay, they're actually getting hurt quite bad from that. Armageddon, Pan and Flak, okay. And that's one squad gun. Okay. Yeah, I probably should have... I, yeah, I probably should have said, uh, told these guys specifically to attack that building because, well, they had to break the entire thing down just to get rid of the squad inside. The flamers would have dealt with them a lot faster. And here comes this thing again. Last time they got annihilated almost immediately by the Tyrannies. It's, this time it's probably going to take a bit longer. Oh, they have beat the, They have way harder well, I say. It is the Ulgrins. Henry got well in melee. Yeah. Okay, there's no need to go grab that since we're already on the way out. Wait. Oh, okay, I see what... I overlooked this the last times, but you actually lose control of that on the way back, so you can't just uh, get your heroes killed and respawn them there to speed things up. Of course. And just because it's what fitting, the and I'll be... The Uglies are here. <laughs> the Uglies? Yep. Oh god, this one got there. Oh, actually, Chaos Ogrins. Yep. As any Dark Tide player will know. Yeah, don't, don't tell you you get to see the Nurgle ones, right? Yep. Your dudes are more useful as a toxic bomb almost, but I think Ogrin, all night Ogrins are oh, just a. Very big angry berserkers. I should I should start up with Dark Tide again. It, it, apparently, it's gotten some big upgrades last time since the uh, the skill rework. 
apparently there's actually some story art going on now, except for the uh, other than the uh, <clears throat> other than the uh, yeah, the cutscenes you'd get between certain levels. Okay. Mm, Promethium strike. Oh, okay, basically a napalm strike. <laughs> Yeah, and hello, new weapons. Let's see. Mastercrafted power sword. Sheathen sp a sparkling power field. This sword can cut through man and machine alike. Effect against infantry and vehicles. Actually, com command distinction. Recycle this to upgrade the Ogrins. Okay. And I'm getting flak armor. Cheap and easy to produce. Flak armor comprises several layers of... I think we've seen it before. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We are obviously trading that in. <laughs> okay. Gladiator carapace armor. Guardsmen stationed on Meridian have <clears throat> have been known to partake in vicious undercity combat carried out in bloody arenas. This armor was confiscated during one such event and found to have been modified with an additional interior ceramide layer. Okay. Let's see, on melee hits, deal damage to the attacker, or deal extra damage, I'm presuming, plus 10% range damage reduction. Hmm. Okay, so we can pick between an upgrade for the heavy weapon squads or the sentinel. Fast and maneuverable vehicle that is fragile and vulnerable to small arms fire. Ideal for contributing to ranged firefights or kiting melee units. Hmm. I think we should go for this because the heavy weapon squads are typically only most usable or most useful when they are either suppressing something or taking down armor. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I have pinpointed the source of this transmission. You shall deploy to this location. If this Lord Ascendant replies, I can determine where and quite possibly who it is. Those renegades won't be too pleased to see us on Meridian, Inquisitor. I am sure the Lord General can concoct a suitably martial solution to the renegade problem, Sergeant Major. That will then leave me free to do my more important work, and perhaps provoke a response from our enigmatic mastermind. Kairos! Just say it, Inquisitor! It is Kairos! We do not know that for sure, Sergeant Major. Until we have proof, I will not make assumptions. With that, she's actually a very level-headed Inquisitor. Yeah, ma many Inquisitors are level-headed. Just most people meme about the uh, less level-headed ones. Yeah. Let's see. continue down the offense lane. Crippling oh. volley. And... Don't forget the donation thingy. Yep. There. That gives the Ogrins their one and only upgrade. And Mary can now be a lot more useful now that he doesn't have to stop every se few seconds. Uh, let's see. 27, 34, plus 17 movement speeds. Wait, she can use the sword. Let's see. Okay, that's a lot. That's almost double damage. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She'd probably prefer her own, but this one is just plain better. And let's see, maybe yep, level four, of course. That's always the that's always a nuisance with the fourth character because they get added after the first level. They are always behind in experience. In this case, they're a full level behind now. Yeah, hmm. but he he feels so much more useful when left behind. Yeah. Like, sure, you can have it with you do the whole execution thing, thing but I'd rather not ask you, you misuse a bug for... Again, beside the bug, like, he seems to be only used for the bug otherwise. Hmm. Let's see, we don't have any use for that, so trade it in. This only 12 experience, but a well. Let's also have a look at this thing. The first gift of the Artificer. For Caster, it would give us a Melter Gun. For Burn, a Power Fist, a Drasia, a Force Weapon, and Merrick, a Last Cannon. 
Hmm. So we traded him for the last cannon because he's only a level one. He, he only has a level one one. Yeah, let's do that. He deserves a better one. Let's see. Level three, 30 extra damage and extra energy. Let's see that. Hmm. I forget that Flare uses energy, but if it does, that just means he can throw out more of them. Plus, next level, we can call in artillery strikes on each and every flare that he throws out. Picked up a box suggesting renegade activity, sir. Have a listen. Command box again, wanting a report. That's the fourth time this week. We keep giving them dead air, and it won't be long before they decide to stop by. They've got to be wondering who's accepting their munition drops, after all. They can fox every minute until doomsday, if they please. We will not respond! You have heard the whispers. You'll know Oh, Oak, the will, the voice. We are his now. He is here. Well, they have forsaken us. If they, if anybody wants these munitions, wants this meat, they must take it from us. Of course, closer, for all care. Okay, this mission again, where we get to put the old, <laughs> the old fat demon back into the ground. Yeah, and I saw something there. We may hmm. get some new tanks. Yep. Okay. Let's have, yeah, for a greater cause, just recycle old stuff. This one, Glitch Boy. Hmm. Most are level headed. They agree. And last cannon! Uh, Intruders at checkpoint Tertius. All forces to arms. Gun them down. Bring their flesh to the keep. All care shall feast this eve. Yeah, heresy is definitely one thing that the cruiser cannot ignore. <laughs> okay, boastful much. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, flare 35 energy. Cast or move up as well, you. Yeah, I, I probably should be using that flare constantly when we're getting into fights. It does take a time to travel. <laughs> yeah, we need to get some units quickly so we can deal with <laughs> the bunkers. Yeah, but that thing is getting destroyed before the, the guys inside are dead. <laughs> Merrick. Myself some drink. Actually, no. Caster has a sniper rifle, so he actually deals damage to the units inside instead. Was that Ogrin sneaking? Maybe. Hmm. I can't actually shoot these past the gate, apparently. Now we can. Okay, player there. And yeah, it kind of makes sense that the players do need some travel time since, well, we can call in bloody, <laughs> bloody artillery strikes on them. So it would be unbalanced if we could just launch them every freaking second and they'd land in the absolute next. Enemy guard target eliminated. Merrick, primary, yeah, priority targets. Just shield yourself there. Uh, where are the rest? Yep. There's the rest. Derek, or Merrick, not Garrick. <laughs> Glacier Boy, a sneaking Ogrin? <laughs> that's terrifying. <laughs> there we go, that's how that's done. Now capture that, and we can call in reinforcements. Show me, I shall destroy the object. Give me those. No. We can't get more Ogrens, but we can, of course, get more Guardsmen. Okay, there are actually several types of Ogrens. 
Acadians reporting for duty, sir. And there's one that is so aggressive that they really, they actually can't recruit the new They just have to go down to the planet, capture them, only to contain. Give me some weapons, they just drop them into a war zone. Fall away from your own lines. Yeah. For those Ogans, they just. They don't care who they kill. I don't. I forgot what they are called and what planet they are. But it is a planet that is basically forbidden to recruit from unless you need to use them in that manner. How is it you've allowed the invaders For they to remain are... breathing? They walk in the open, begging to be slaughtered. Manticore batteries, vengeance and justice, crush them beneath your rockets. Uh, Mary, can you actually get a shot in on this thing? Uh, yeah. Basically, they are ill-suited for recruitment uh, normally, since, again, yeah, yeah, you, there's no way to properly train them to work along with, with the, the guardsmen. And I would not be surprised if uh, Flash Terrors uh, uh, will try to recruit those Ogrins. Okay, that's going to hurt when those shots land. I wonder if we will get the troops here to join us. Uh. <laughs> They're getting knocked around. Uh, let's see. Blazer Boy sounds like the flesh terrors, yeah. When Mr. Sasa that big, you expect big explosions. Yeah, I guess the warheads are well made enough that they actually only detonate after they've been launched. Which is how most of those strike missiles should work. Oh, that's not the issue. I mean, the radius of the booms. Like, the size they are, you expect them to make a bigger boom. Uh, let's group up a bit. Now, if I recall correctly, there's going to be some noise marines here. Okay. New recruits, get your flamethrowers. Oh, a heavy bolter, okay. Okay, Mary, get your flares up. They okay. <laughs> cleared out the bunker before he could even give them the order to. I'm on the object. Inside. Okay. Ahead, we'll get it, They're not inside. We'll Capture that. We'll okay. Mary, join up. Heard, future, had heard, heard uh, Caster talk more for. The guy we mostly hear talking is uh, Maverick. Yeah. Who is rather mouthy for an Imperial Guard Sergeant, but then again, he's been <laughs> he's been fighting off the grid for ten years, so he's had plenty of time to grow in attitudes. And Glazy Boy is happy to see a heavy bolter. <laughs> what does this do? <laughs> she already fired. <laughs> okay. I thought that would be a bit more flashy, but it is just basically a rapid fire of a <laughs> of a crossbow. Crossbow? Yep, one of the upgrades we gave her gave her this crippling volley. So she exchanged her her bolt pistol for a crossbow <laughs> pistol. Wait, she was a bolt? I thought she was a hand flamethrower. She had it, but she changed it out. I guess at first we give her a power sword. 
Okay, that was a lot of troops lost, but again, that's to be expected. Plus, we can just infinitely refill on them. Plus, if eventually even freaking Space Marines are going to cook in that armor of theirs. Level up! You lot, capture that. And just more and more Valkyries fly by to drop off more unfortunate souls. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is starting to look like an actual guards attack, which is how many there are. Yeah, POV, you can finally afford enough miniatures to actually start a game as the Imperial Guard. <laughs> Cuts to an entire basement full of figurines. Of just guardsmen. Yeah, that, that, you, do get a, you do get a lot of units from a box of those. Apparently America has just been lounging over here. Yeah, we, we have a lot more units now than we can actually easily <laughs> fit in here. Did you just accidentally call it America? <laughs> Maybe, not sure. Ready and able. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I don't know if I misheard you or not at this point. I guess we can look that up, but if you accidentally <laughs> called him America... Oh, God. Uh, let's see, Glacier Boy, incorrect. There is no, there will never be enough for an Imperial Guard army. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shut up, old care. Oh, we are definitely annihilating the tank crews over here. I should realize. We will really get the pain blade. I think that will be our super heavy uh, vehicle, yes. Yes! <laughs> okay, it's, it's a good thing that the smaller troops can just move along with each other and don't have to go around like the Ogrins. Yeah, probably why you... If you do use Ogrins a lot, you definitely want so... Oh my god, men with them. And yeah, as you can see, she has a crossbow now. Oh yeah! Okay, at least one of the crews made it over. <laughs> now that it made it... Yeah, now that it didn't match good in there. Okay, the survivors again. Commander. Commander, do you read? Thank the Emperor you're here. Every man stationed at this base has been hearing voices, having nightmares. This place is still cursed with the stink of chaos. We've been here years now, ever since Captain Angelos and his space marines left. Most went mad, but not all of us. We took action when you arrived, secured the munitions dump, gunned down the traitors here, and... Treason is filth! So eager to join these pretenders, then your blood and bones will lead theirs into Oka's Maw! Okay. Too bad for these, though. What? That's probably the moment that uh, Adrastia is done here. She's probably going to come back and burn down the place because, yeah, even, this, even just knowing about chaos typically gets a guardsman killed. All the flamers. Hey, does that even get uh, allies now? Yeah, they're they're marked as allies. We don't get to control them. The anger of Elysia. Okay. You boys lack your flamethrowers. Go get them. Okay. 
Okay, that's one unhappy mode as Lehman Ross. Uh, Merrick, you have a priority target. I don't remember there being a dreadnought that stomps out of here to attack. Hmm? Okay. Let's deal with these, grab the loot, and then we go deal with this manticore here for the extra stuff. this location for now commander if you take the keep you'll break the back of the renegades good luck sir the imperium overcomes good show you've earned a commendation from me i hear you <laughs> okay maybe they won't get executed then not that the lord commissar can order the <laughs> the inquisitor around on that oh i can see why uh Kidding to uh, call Lord Castor a uh, World One One slash Two uh, General, yeah. British General at that. He has that really is. British General vibe. Yeah. Newcomers. Get some reinforcements in. I could just kill everything along the way. Okay, the, those first ones were lucky there that the, the missiles landed before they even got close. Okay. Uh, actually, turn that off there. And turn it on here. Okay. All of you. Move over here and get us more people to head into this into the slaughter. Okay, I, I really I'm, I am curious how many Imperial Guard troops you could have in a fight in a more, the, in a more modern version of this game, because this game is like almost twenty years old now. Or stirring speech, okay. Okay, 20 years, and I will say it still have aged rather well. Taking the target, true. Take that thing out. Go ahead, sir. Take it. But yeah, with the tech that we have today, we could probably have like 10 times as many units on on screen with this. So that would be quite the show. Oh God, yeah. Uh, even even though we aren't too strong against armor, we just <laughs> we just eradicate them through sheer freaking numbers. Order, sir. Message received. I say as we get three new squads because the others got killed off. Commander here, ready and able. Okay, actually, notice because of the expansion, not because of well casualties. <laughs> Thank the emperor for these weapons. Now we've got a chance. Okay. Now we push on through the keep. And, well, we just overwhelm. <laughs> oh, that, yeah, that was a bad day for a bunch of guardsmen. <laughs> we lost 17 worth of people there. The Connonson's... Uh, okay, that's that's probably going to be for the cat a chance. Okay, but as long as we have resources, we can call in for more people. Yeah, for for just a bunch of people wielding flashlights and. Uh, the yeah, flashlights and lighters, they're doing quite well, huh? Oh yeah! 
They're even more of a swarm than the <laughs> fucking Tyrians. Yes, yes! Come on, believers! All care welcomes all! <laughs> They're just plain up melting the gate down. Here. Okay. Now, the no. get in there and just kill. <laughs> Actually, can I... Oh, no, I can but... select all I of this. Say, uh... Uh, the, the voice actors for the Imperial God really, really had fun. <laughs> I, I think in general the, vo the, uh, yeah, the voice actors for this game had fun with it. Like, I don't yeah, think uh, I can name a single part where there was truly bad voice acting. Yeah, not, not can I. Okay. Merrick, focus that down. Before everyone else shows you up on <laughs> your vehicle killing ability. <laughs> the, the extra attackers there are just completely dead. Holy. Holy slowly. <laughs> yeah, if, if the Imperial Guard ever asks if you need a light, <laughs> decline. Don't let your men to ruin. Death comes for all. May, may my flesh fester and rot and give life anew for Nurgle. Commander here. Ready? Right then. Moving. Okay, the population cap can go even higher, so that's going to be fun when we reach the hundreds. Uh, alright, you know, before I forget, uh, Captain? Hmm? Do I, do I be, do we have any s'mores? Maybe, you'll have to dig around in the barrels a bit. Let's see. <laughs> Kata War gear, Katachan bodyguard, Katachan devils are armed with powerful close range shotguns that knock down enemy units. Uh, uh, we get to give one of our heroes a own squad to follow. I think it's okay. going to be for caster only, but probably. <laughs> Let's see. Kadia pattern last cannon. Driving a charged energy blast along a powerful laser. The last cannon can cut through no, through almost any armor at extreme range. It requires a substantial amount of time to build up its power before a shot, however. Effect against vehicles and structures. Armageddon pattern heavy bolter. Massive weapons with a staggering rate of fire. Heavy bolters suppress enemy infantry and cut them down without prejudice. Effect against most light, yeah, against most infantry and light armor. Yeah, which is it's basically just a, he a probably it's probably just a basically uh, a space marine heavy bolter with a, tr a tripod added on and a shield. The Rosarius, usually given uh, usually only given to high ranking members of the ecclesiarchy and the Inquisition, this small amulet projects a f powerful conversion field that protects the wearer from harm. The anger of Alicia. With the help of this famous weapon, Corporal A.J. Garnet of the 89th Elysian successfully defended the Hill 291 during an orc assault on Elysia. Despite losing his loader and half his squad, Garnet's re re valorous actions held the orcs at bay long enough to re for reinforcements to arrive. All right. And uh, let's see. Okay. <laughs> experience or risk, risk, an experience recycle. Unflagging resolve. When a generator's powering angel gate were disabled, Sergeant Thrap, Thr Tharp rallied the guardsmen of the 85th Vanderland in a vain attempt to stave off the Tyranid swarm. Even when the endless broods of Hormagons buried him under their mass, the report of his bolter could still be heard. Okay. And stirring speech. The officer delivers a stirring speech that's yeah, that serves to fuel the resolve of the soldiers around them. And recycle that to upgrade Sentinels. And Assassin's Volley. A gift for General Castor with compliments from General Hector Penny of the Arcadian Sixth. The following note was attached. Remember this? I certainly do. 
He ripped it right from my lieutenant's hands and turned and shot our would-be assassin with it. The renegade would have gunned down the whole crusade's high command, if not for you. I thought you might appreciate the souvenir. Okay, then. Oh, that... That sounds so... That, that, that sounds like it's, it's, it's from a British war movie or something. Or something like an E.J. Bond movie, even. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love oh. it. And just... That's an anti-vehicle weapon. So that was a very, very unfortunate assassin. <laughs> okay, how the heck did it end up on this planet, though? Good question. And we actually got a lot of loot on this one. Yeah, the most so and far out of all of the missions. I think we know what we're going to do grab here. Yeah, but let's still take a look. Refractor field grants the refractor field ability. Powered by a small generator, this personal defense field uh, refracts energy around the wearer and project from, yeah, protects from injury. And yeah, Lehman Russ. Multi purpose battle tank can be upgraded with weapons more effective versus infantry or vehicles. Let's see. It has the Vanquisher upgrades. Pulse? Effective against vehicles and the Executioner for. Oh, effective against all targets. Okay. Alright. Wait, I think I heard that. Was it Puss or Puss for Cat? Uh, Puss. All right, L Lemon Puss. I mean, nickname Leo Ross. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I would not be surprised then... if someone has done that. Lemon Puss. And Merrick gets his artillery strikes. Okay, burn. Oh, what the? Hmm. I just realized. Puss is spelled the same as we Swedish word for kiss. <laughs> okay. Yeah, when you say puss puss, that that's basically means kiss kiss in Swedish. However, kiss kiss is spelled for uh, piss piss. However, so yeah, you can go in circles on uh, uh, rabbit hole there. Yeah. Also, let's just grab this one first. Fearless, immune to suppression. If he is not deployed, an ogren gain this ability. That's going to be useful against them since they need to get in close and such. Oh, are they... yeah, he actually making the prince more terrifying. And let's see, we've got, well, we, we can turn in that one for scrap. And take this one instead. Let's see, there's a bit more damage. No extra energy, but I think that'll work still. Hmm. Yeah, a draw tier can only equip melee weapons. Same for burn. So, do we give Castor a different weapon other than his than his sniper? Wait, that's a sniper? Yep. <laughs> sniper do rifle. Really a, even do we do a sniper rifle and a sword all this time? Yep. <laughs> what? And, oh, it's a commander item. Okay. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Let's give him that. That's probably going. That's probably going to call in at least one Katachan to add to his squad because he is. He's constantly had two people following him around. And let's see. Yeah, upgrade Sentinels. Yeah. Let's Is give this have? to burn for him to catch up. Put that there so we get closer to that. Okay. Now, what do we give with you? Commendation. Increase rate of fire and nearby allies. Let's go with that then, yeah. Just have him stuck between a, <laughs> a whole horde of Imperial Guardsmen and he'll be shooting nonstop. Mm. Mm. Okay. Here comes the rare cough. And shall we try for one more mission? We have like 10 minutes to go. Let me double check on the counter. Yeah, for I think we have about like 12 minutes. Mm, yeah. The, are we able to. Are we really I think able we should to finish be able that to. mission in 12? I think we should be able to, so let's give General it a shot. Pasta, I have intercepted a transmission from Meridium. 
You will listen to what it says. Priority box channel Secundus. Lord Ascendant, I lead the faithful assaulting Capital Spire. I am pleased to report that the Spire's defenders have fallen. They were unprepared for an attack from within. We shall hold the Spire and await your transmission bearing further instructions. Glory to the Ascendant. Glory to Corn. Okay. And yeah, we're still going to keep <laughs> burn shelves. <laughs> Yeah, um, but oddly enough, he, he's more useful that way. Without breaking the game, that is. Push them back. Do not let them gain a foothold on the spire. Okay. Let's try and be somewhat fast about this. But honestly, the moment we can get enough <laughs> a critical mass of guardsmen, we can probably just roll over most any, everything here. There will be more heavy whip. There will be yeah, more vehicles to deal with. But I think Merrick should be able to deal with that. Speaking of... I'll, I'll see, I, I, I think his artillery is probably going to be a good thing against vehicles. Pull back that Lehman Russ and regroup. Fourth and 17th. I want an assault line of Bane Wolves pressing this position. Actually, we can bring in our own Lehman Russes now, so <laughs> I think that'll help <laughs> against vehicles. Okay. Elgrin's capture that for a sec. That's the laser boy. He's more useful when he can shoot his troops in the back of the head. Oh dear. Okay, stop the recruitment for a sec. Fiends, they've broken our lines. Fifty, open the box with air support and stand by. If they encroach the HQ, Why? I want the sky to fall on them. Why is our headquarters opening fire on an empty building? Okay. <laughs> is it jealous or something? No idea. Okay, either way. We're going to need to be careful while point, we are punching through here. Enemy Merrick, take down that. You lot actually go charge in there. Yeah, an auto cannon, okay. Okay. <laughs> with them. Hmm? Uh, are you gonna be the chef? <laughs> because it was a heretical building, alien. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Can we save those? No, we cannot. Okay. Lehman Ross. Caster, take some shots into there, please. But Merrick, you weren't even... Chuck a flare over there. Okay. The bear we go. <laughs> that took a bit of time. Oh, okay, it is an outright. Okay, if we have multiple flares out, that is going to be an absolute hellstorm coming down. Commander here, right then. Moving. Okay, I think we found the B build for Merrick then. Unleash the wrath of Lemon Puss. It is very, it is expensive on his, yeah, rec on his energy though. You get your flamers. Yeah, I can see that being expensive. It can pay off when used at the right time. 
Okay. First up there. More, yeah, the more requisition we have, the more troops we can throw at everything. Oh, okay, so we we can re we can resurrect the honor guards if we lose them. Okay, oh, that is well. nice. That is very nice. Go ahead, attack formation, pick up. Go. Okay. Merit, priority targets. Also, actually, just throw out a flare there. No apparent reason. Actually, that flare's a waste now. Okay. Stick with just a squabble between the buildings there. Oh dear. Oh, hello. <clears throat> oh, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, the, that's the, his own flare. supposed to have a. Are, are, are those uh, special guardsmen with him? Uh, let's see. Where is, where is your retinue? Oh, wait. That's one is of them. No, it's not a skill. Where are they? You go capture that quickly. Yep, oh, Merrick. Ow. Cadians will capture the location, sir. Okay. We have to keep fighting. Go grab them. No. It looks more like one of his men is just plain gone. Okay. Don't think that's supposed to happen. Oh, they are so hard to see, I just realized. I almost camouflage them with the ground somehow. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing only two circles on the floor here. There should be a third. And it, well, it would make sense for... <laughs> the Ketachan to camouflage. I don't I think they're just playing not there. That's weird. Yes, yes, we don't care about your kinks. <laughs> Let's get a bombing run done. Plasma core, plasma gun Plasma gun? Okay, that's Ooh, going that's to be for be Merrick or Caster. Yeah, so far we have seen plasma guns or something. Let's see, a bit more requisition for another tank. Yep. Yeah. Oh, they're being blocked. You run that over. Okay, lost the squads. <laughs> get over there, you idiots. How, how did one of them get up there? Well, he, I guess he could climb. Okay, tank and guards. Yeah, they, they can't go by because of the wreck over here. Weren't we able to deal with the wreck? Yep, come on, get over there. Okay, let's let's go deal with that building. Whilst uh, these try to squeeze by the wreckage over here. Or can they not go up the stairs or something? Hmm. 
Just attack move over there. Maybe they'll find their way past. Actually, Mary, can you get up there? And start annoying that side. Focus that down. Yep, yep, the, it seems like the tanks are just plain stuck down here. Okay. Structure under attack. What? That has to be a bug. Yeah. And Atrostia is down again. Okay, enough of this then. Just a swarm tactic if the tanks get, get can't get past. Or oh, as we be oh, it, wait. Actually. I just realized when we destroy that air thingy, aren't we opening up a shortcut? Nope. And that's the timer going. Yep. For some reason, they just can't get up the stairs. Caster, pick them up quickly. And, okay, he can't shoot down enough for that. Okay, yeah, we'll have to do with infantry then. Yep. <laughs> now it comes back. <laughs> Merrick. Yep, thank you. Go ahead, let's go. Take that thing out. We got a vehicle under. There is a bridge there. The object defends. I shall destroy it. Oh, wait, no. Just a damn building. This had better be an object targeted. Proceeding with the damage of destruction. Hmm. Declaration of the Commissar. Okay, I'm guessing that's going to be. An upgrade for the guardsmen. Let's see, Glacier Warrior, just need to watch your rate of firing the plasma gun. Yeah, since those things will explode if you use them too much. Which is a gimmick in Dark Tide as well. If you overload it too much, boom. Yeah, it hmm. is a powerful weapon that you need to be careful with. AKA, and don't give an old green AE with plasma weapon. They'd sooner eat it than find out how to actually use it properly. No. That we rapid fire it so much that it will explode. That hmm. power bloody hectic hornet it would they would make. Standing by for orders. Can we have you destroy each other? What? Yes, I think. <laughs> You're actually moving out of the way of that. Yeah. They, are, they are taking quite a bit of a resource drain on us. So it would be better if we could get rid of these. But there is no option to have them dis destroy themselves. So we'll have to do it with these limited troops. That has to be either a bug or oversight. I'm presuming bug. Okay, the heck was that? I'm sure. Commissar is down, sir. What the heck? Now, focus down the building, please. That's probably the quickest way to deal with this. Actually, if they're suppressed, it won't help. You let flamethrowers deal with them. Merrick, focus the building. I am under attack. I hear you are there. They have shamed us. Our boys have just intercepted an incoming Vox for you, Inquisitor. Relying now. Hopefully, it's the one we expected. Priority Vox channel second us. This is the Ascendant. Azariah Kairos. Marvelously done, Sergeant. Your slaughter of your own brothers in arms shall bring much favor from Khorne. Without its center of administration, Meridian is as helpless as a babe set upon by wolves. 
Remain stationed there and repel any invaders. Your reward for your faith shall be forthcoming. Skulls to Gorn. Help us, Lord And now Adrastia has all the proofs she needs. Let's see, second gift of the Artificer. Okay, that, that took a bit longer than 12 minutes, but okay. Uh, let's see, the auto cannon provides good all-round damage and a high rate of fire, making it useful for employee in a variety of situations. Yeah, glass cannon. Uh, this specialization weapon is slower firing than a bolter, but able to damage any target type effect against high sing value single targets. Let's see, recycle to... Let's just get experience. And then we have a sniper's long last. This Zaitfus pattern long last uses overcharged power packs called hot shots to eliminate enemy targets over from, yeah, from long range. Okay. Let's see what Adrasti has to say to this. And then we'll call it the stream. Confession of Sins. Confessor Lepi is, is credited with bringing the redemptionist cult to subsector Aurelia in M39, praising the unique and ultra-violent you know, violent creed of the redemptionist. The confessors absolved uh, the confessor absolved thousands of mutants, which is an assorted sinners of the underhives of Meridian with this flamer, whether they sought absolution or not. Hmm. And then we can pick, uh, yeah. Auto cannon upgrade or demolition. Man, let's go with this one since it's mo more likely to be used. I have determined that the transmission came from Typhon, and the speaker sounds much like Chapter Master Kyrus. Sounds like, sounds like, that is Kyrus Inquisitor. There is no doubt. I suggest you watch your tone. I have given you a great deal of latitude, but there are bounds. But to answer your impertinence, there is indeed doubt. What we've learned has made Kairos suspect, but not a proven heretic. And when has the Inquisition worried about proof? I reckon there's other reasons you're gambling the lives of everyone in this sector. Perhaps you feel I am more interested in the benefit to me personally. That capturing Kairos is my primary goal. That such a high-profile arrest would advance my standing in the Ordos. That I am first and foremost interested in my career. The real question is, what difference does it ultimately make to you? I am the only hope you have of preventing the annihilation of this system. If I have any reason to do so, you should be grateful. In this case, as long as this sector is a cauldron of battle, it serves its real purpose. A diversion for our enemies, and a training ground for our forces. If the sector is lost, that purpose is lost. We're just a diversion. Tell me this is a joke. That's enough, Merrick. We will not give up this subsector. No matter how it is valued, it is valuable, and it is ours. The Imperium will win here. No other solution is tolerable. Now, if you could tell me what you have discovered, Inquisitor. There is a strong psychic presence at that location, Lord General, but no other signs of life. It appears as if this presence is alone. I don't like it, sir. Why would Kairos be alone? You'll have an answer to that question soon enough, Sergeant Major. We proceed to Typhon at once. Yeah, Merrick would have been dead three times over under basically any other Inquisitor, I'm pretty sure. More any other extremist inquisitor. And yeah, seems that the draft here isn't this in in this just for the good of the Imperium, huh? <clears throat> I think she is just she wanna do her job properly and well. For again, yeah. a chapter monster is not a small accusation. Definitely. But for now, we'll have to call it a stream. So let's go look for someone to raid. Let me close the game. Bring this forth and change over the screen share so you can take a look as well. Change windows. Uh, hide that. 
there. <coughs> there and there. Uh, let's see, there's a, there's a decent amount of people online. We have Dr. Misunderstood with Persona for Golden. Isaiah Razier with Lethal Company. 3 Jack with Baldur's Gate 3. Jumpers to Moonsail with World of Warcraft. Grim the Wolf is just chatting. Seems they're having a Christmas special. <coughs> you okay? Yeah. Just the throat. I feel like I've been stayed by a lot of phlegm, if you get what I mean. <coughs> okay. Uh, next we have Kiri Natsuyoko with Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. WBPL with The Legend of Zelda. Let's see. Breath of the Wild. <laughs> K9 with Vintage Story. Racius the Dwarf is just chatting at the moment. Are they doing... The, okay, the, the title is literally, I'm on a break. <laughs> okay. And last but not least, we have Puffle Cakey, who is also just chatting. And apparently, <laughs> they are back from being away for a bit, <laughs> judging, by the ti judging from the title. <laughs> Any of those catch your fancy, or shall I take a pick? Mm, I will let you take a peek at this time. Let's go raid the spider then. So copy channel slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Glacier Boy. Thank you, Pizza, for being here. Let me see. Do we have any lurkers? Da -da -da. Okay, it doesn't look like it. So thank you as always for care. You're back as always, my friend. And thank you all for joining. Yeah. If nothing goes in, if nothing gets in the way, we'll have another stream later in the evening in about two and a half hours. And yeah, we'll we'll be continuing on with Apotheon and we'll see what we'll do tomorrow. Because Drakir has requested that we skip a showcase Sunday for something else. Yeah, like Dave the Dyer and Dredge, if possible. Ah. Uh, okay, yeah. <clears throat> okay, um, don't think there's really much else to do or to think of. Uh, I am working on some possible yeah, changes with uh, the, the streams, mostly in the layouts and a bit. But I'll, in, yeah, if I implement those, it'll be on Monday. But for now, then, thank you all. Uh, thank you all again for watching. Let's get that rate started. And yeah, until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone. Watch out for 100 seagulls and uh, cage your stands. <clears throat> to drink something for this.